Hey you guys, before we get to the video, I have an important message. So through the month of November, the Ada Community Library is doing a survey to help us find out what kind of changes we need to make to serve the community better. When you take the survey, not only will you make your opinion known, you can also be entered into a drawing for a $100 Visa gift card or a $25 Ross gift card. It'll only take a minute. And if you go to our website, you can find these conversation bubbles, click on that square and give us your opinion. Help us make the community library better. Thanks. Hi, I'm Linda from the Ada Community Library and today we are going to be doing a super easy experiment with stuff that you have just sitting around at home. We are going to be using paper and a stack of books to experiment with columns and loads. Now a column is, is an upright structure, like a pillar, that's meant to hold uh, a load. So uh, a chair has four columns that hold the, the seat up and also the person when you sit down on it. Uh, there are columns everywhere when you bother to take a look. So we are going to be folding uh, the paper into three shapes. We're going to have a column that is a circle shape. I'm just going to be taping like the edge together and, and forming a circle. And then we'll be making one that is a square and one that is a triangle. And then we're going to take the books and stack them on top of these columns and see which one holds the most weight. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have our three columns. We have our circular column, our square column, and our triangular column. Now because we want to uh, experiment with the shape of the column, uh, I've tried to make everything else the same. So this is the same brand of paper, the same weight of paper. The only difference is the color and also the shape. Uh, same size also. So. Uh, I think the first one we are going to experiment with is our square. Now the other thing that you need to make sure is the same is, is your, is your uh, test objects. And so we're going to be using books and we're going to be stacking them in the same order. And oh, before we start stacking books, I did want to just put a little bit of tape on the column to hold it in place. So I'm just going to put one piece of tape right there just to hold it in place. And then we're going to be stacking the books in the same order uh, every time. All right, so here's one book and I want to put it as much in the middle as I can. There's one book. Oh, that's not helpful. Here's a second book. Oh, so it collapsed with our second book. Okay, I'm going to restack our books in the same order that I got them off the stack. Make sure we do everything the same. Here's our triangular column. Now, do you think the triangular column will hold more books or fewer books than the square column? What is your hypothesis? Okay, here's our first book. Here's our second book. That one also collapsed with two books. Let's try our circular column.
one book. Two books. Seems to be holding steady. Here's a third book, smaller one. And a fourth book. And a fifth book. And a sixth book. And a seventh book. I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to get more books. Okay, we had to pause for a second because I had to get more books. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Here's another one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, we're going to back up this camera just a little bit, or maybe I can just move it, Fourteen. Wow, I have to say, I am amazed how many books we were able to get on the column made out of just a piece of paper formed into a circular shape. Now, why do you think that the circular column was able to hold so much more weight than the square or triangular column? Why do you think that is? Maybe you can do some research and find out. And you know, you can do more uh, experiments like this with just paper columns. Instead of doing different shapes, you could do maybe different heights, or you could try different diameters of circles and see what kinds of difference that makes. I hope you found this fun and interesting. I know I did, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.